as well. In other words, that, that I think that the Iranian public, you know, whether we like it or not, supports the idea of Iran being a nuclear power with either energy or, or even nuclear weapons. I mean, they don't see, they see advantages to that. And it strikes me that, that you know, the Obama administration has focused on that aspect of Iranian policy. Well, what strikes me is that Al-Qaeda and its affiliates, these people are virulently anti-Shia and anti-Iranian. There are problems, you know, in other words, the Iranians have been trying to be very polite to these people. They've been, in other words, Al-Qaeda doesn't care how many enemies it has. And that, you know, as Mr. al Alaki indicated, you know, people like him are worried about Iranian influence. Um, the Iranians, I think, with a, sm a smaller U.S. presence, the Iranians are going to have a greater problem with radical Sunni movements. We actually have interests in common, it seems to me, with Iran against this, you know, Sunni radicalism. Now, I would say that, you know, um, you know, remember the U.S. rapprochement with China, you know, which was much more anti-American than the Soviet Union was in the 1960s. But as they came to fear the Soviet Union more, we had rapprochement, and that their possession of nuclear weapons didn't prevent that rapprochement. Um, I, I, I think that I don't want Iran to have nuclear weapons, but I don't think it's the absolute end of the world. I don't think they're irrational the way they've been painted, uh, that they, <laughs> they're not going to commit suicide by using nuclear weapons if they have them. And in fact, you know, certainly when I was in Tehran, and what they showed me, you know, what, they, what they argued was that, you know, North Korea got nuclear weapons, and the U.S. gives it all kinds of goodies, you know. Saddam Hussein doesn't have them, and you invade. Well, what, what, which situation are we better off under? <laughs> <laughs> having them or not having them. You know, after like, you know, denying that, oh, we don't want them for the first few minutes, then they start talking about, about you know, the actual you know, benefit to Iran of having them. That when one of the benefits of acquiring nuclear weapons is that America and the West become much more polite. That's what it is. And it's, it strikes me that, that it's, it's, it, 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 it changes the terms of the conversation. And I suspect that if they, in fact, do acquire nuclear weapons, any U.S. administration, Republican or Democrat, is suddenly going to see the wisdom of talking to the Iranians. That you know, is something we have to do. Um, and so, uh, and that there are other things you know, we can work with them on. So that's a long-winded way of, of answering your question. Sorry about that. Uh, Interesting. Claudine Dashivukut, uh, Mason student. Yes. Uh, I just wanted, I was wondering if... Uh, it's possible to have a Iran, well, Iraq and Afghanistan stable without Iran table. And uh, I also would like to know if a, a Russia and, uh, uh, and Chinese should play a much bigger role on, on the war um, on, on Afghanistan and, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the Iraq, st one, if you want to see Iraq stable as well, because after, after all, it's in their backyard as well. I mean, if it's mm -hmm. collapsed, they're going to mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. big price to pay. Okay. So, in other words, first, in other words, if the U.S. leaves, will Iraq and Afghanistan collapse? Is that sort of the question? Yes. Right. Okay. Let me talk about that because certainly, you know, the, the way we're used to thinking of this question is, you know, the U.S. left Indochina, South Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia collapsed. The Soviets leave Afghanistan, Afghanistan collapses. But you know, it doesn't always work out that way. Uh, Yemen is usually not uh, spoken about as a successful model of anything these days. But in the 1960s, they had their own revolution and civil war. You know, beginning 1962, uh, in the north, the monarchy was overthrown, a republic was declared, Egypt.